We're back. Grumble cow. Grumble combatant. Grumble combatant to you, human. <laughs> we agreed to support your race in your campaign against pirates in our sector. We have detected a place with a large pirate activity on Coldfoot Epsilon Moon, a place you are probably looking for. The size of the occupied area is quite big, and a long-distance sensors show an energy pattern suitable for a base with several thousands of troops and even more warships. We guess that they are searching for the disk, just like you. They probably succeeded already. Don't go on the surface without corresponding firepower and backing. Any news about my father? Have you found him? Do you know where he is? Ah, this is going nowhere. trial. Guess I might as well equip it. What an idyllic looking, um... Oh, one with a limited number of bullets. It just has... Bits coming out of it. Oh, it's this one. No, it's a hit scan weapon. It doesn't have any uh, particle effects. It's just damaging whatever's directed in front of me. Oh, okay. SOS! Those poor bastards never found any kind of, any kind of aid. If I recall correctly, this trap goes hard after a while. How will you be able to tell when... Weapon! Oh, that's right, it just says weapon. You were saying? Well, I was saying, but then, weapon. Stay frosty. Eating for 20 seconds, as opposed to every other time. Yeah, those mines are pretty useful. Are there any other fans that are more useful than the mines? Uh, in terms of utility, not as far as I know. There are other bombs that don't work like traditional bombs, if that's what you're wondering. Uh, like others that maybe do more damage or whatever? Yeah, well, I mean, these don't do much da much at all damage compared to other bombs. It's just that other bombs have the restriction of only working on ground targets, which is pretty severe. Oh, I've got the missiles. That's a lot of missiles. Big old fuzzy song. Ducky. Ducky. You see those shockwaves, right? No. You run shockwaves when I run into the ground? No, I wasn't good. I'm gonna run into the ground. Oh, okay. Those are the dispersed energy from the upgrade I got, which massively reduces uh, ground collision damage. Oh, Alright. That seems helpful. Yep. Now the only collision damage I need to be super concerned with is collision with enemy ships. Which is still pretty bad. I like that. You can't disperse the energy from running into another ship. No. It doesn't work that way. Can you stop shooting me from off screen? Yeah, but that wouldn't be as cheap. You got me there. Let's be honest. 
as gamers, we all, we, we, we all can be a little cheap sometimes when the situation presents itself. Oh, finally. that a bunch of the ships have, like, snowflakes on them? Yes, let's pretend I did notice that. Okay, sounds like you did not notice. It's nice that the people living here have the aesthetic sense to... Put snowflakes on their spaceships? To, to put snowflakes on their spaceships when they're planning on spending some time on Ice Moon. Yeah, of course. Take care about that. Snowman, fighting a ducky. Get it. Oh, I thought you just blew up the snowman just to be a dick. You're like, oh, a snowman, I'd better destroy it. Who, me? I wouldn't do that. Ah! It's got seaweed on it. Missile's gonna come back down. Who knows? It doesn't look like it. like the entire front half of the ship would- Oh! I can get more of the front half. You appear to have looped around. Yeah, I see that. Got some more mines all up in there. It's running out of ship. It is kind of running out of ship. A hundred percent? Why? That boss meter doesn't really do much, huh? Great. Great programming. A plus. Grumble Cumbatung to you. You answered our question as to why notice a lot of activity while seeing just a few buildings on the surface. Of course, a base off the bottom of the ocean. Clever solution if you want to build up serious power unnoticed. The pirates went underwater, but it's no match for our scientific department. They worked overnight and made several improvements to your ship's engines, so they'll work in a liquid environment as well as they do in an air or vacuum. Now you must continue the chase in the ice ocean that dreadful U-boat thing rose from. The pirate's search for the disc must be interrupted. Without it, Zox's plan to gain energy for his cannon will fail. That must be a really bad soap opera. <laughs> Pretty bad, yeah. Who we got? We've got subject, Kabil Bofuru, alias Baron Bofuru. Crimes, drug dealing, piracy, illegal arming with nuclear weapons, genocide, and cannibal cannibal cannibalism. Cannibalism. Yeah, we don't like that. Uh, this is just a test weapon, so I think I'll just sell that. Actually, I guess I'll just sell this too. This what more. about the boxes? Well, I can't crack them because my ship's tool for that is... Oh, uh, I see. I didn't realize you needed a special tool to do that. Zombie Blue's Plasma Gun. Is that better? Do you like that? Uh, it's certainly very good. Alright. Gonna put that pulse gun in the middle. 
what, like the tectonic Not laser? One of the free ones. Oh. Yeah, that boy. Nah. Heat output's going to be uh, untenable. Oh. It. it makes too much heat. Yeah. What about the tomato? 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 Yeah, that thing doesn't make heat, right? Oh. I like the skull one, though. Have fun uh, dealing with my wave of seeking spirits of death. That's <laughs> that's pretty enjoyable. They've got sides too. Do they seek the fish? No, they don't seek the fish, but they get them. That's um. It's an interesting weapon. You'll be seeing more of it. Yeah. Is that your your next one on the list once you get more monies? Yep. Hella expensive though. But as you can see, pretty worth it. Yeah, it looks like it does some work. Destroying this terrain is probably the, the hardest problem. It doesn't really look like it even produces that much heat. Uh, that's because I'm tapping it. It's like every time it's off cooldown, I'll fire, and it's... This is what happens if I hold it. Oh, I see. But I guess you don't need that kind of DPS. Well, I'm getting the same DPS just by pressing it on its firing cycle. Anything with a slow fire rate is easier to manage the heat from. Quack. So there is a secret gun somewhere in this level. I was gonna ask if you weren't, like, concerned about accidentally blowing up that disc, but I guess it doesn't matter if it gets blown up as far as you're concerned. Yeah, we just... We just want Zox not to get it. There's more automator. More automatizer. You'd think any any media program that was that dangerous might see some restriction to where it can be produced. Don't be ridiculous. Sorry, I know. I'm... This is a universe where they literally threw a hundred of their own viewers at you to get slaughtered on live TV. Yeah, I guess I wasn't really... <laughs> wasn't really considering that. It seems less like they buffed my ship and more like they just gave me a separate underwater boat. Yeah, it doesn't really look anything like your ship. This is not the most nail-biting mission you've ever been on, I gotta say. You know, the music is similarly... Not particularly uh, dramatic. Ah, oh, there it is. Secret weapon. Back to the realm of not very good secret weapons. Is that an egg? Oh, it's gone now. Oh, thing on the ground. Yeah, there's some sort of big green orb. I'm trying to fire right here, because that's the area where it's easiest to fit all of my bullets. As 
you know, I want them all to de to deploy. There was a like like on the bottom there. There was? Yep. It's gone now. There's another one. You killed it. That's an eyeball. Oh yeah, I guess that's kind of eyeball looking. Sure. Man. It's a beefy cannon, right? Something is being really, uh, is eating up a lot of damage that the skulls just weren't going anywhere. You met the sea enemies. Yeah, the sea enemies, yeah. Oh, scuba divers with guns. Not for long. Corpses with guns. Alright, oh, found all the secrets. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Alright. Well, that was fun, and I hope you guys had fun too. Nailed it. Nailed it. You killed it. See you later. <laughs>